My shoes from my Utah trip with Tim and Joey and Zach are finally here and it is bursting at the seams. So let's get into this. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, this is Drew with Profit Monsters and I am a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop and Facebook Marketplace. I love cross posting and uh, it's a big part of my business. And so one of the things I love selling is shoes because they sell easily on multiple marketplaces and shoes are readily available at almost any thrift store. You can find them anywhere. And when I went to Utah to go see Tim and Zach, Osborne of Thrift and Utah and Bought and Gone, I was with my buddy Joey Bada Bing 22 and we all kind of stuck to different categories. And because Tim had the hard goods, the electronics and the heavy stuff, I decided to kind of go for shoes. So this whole box is all shoes and Tim shipped it back to me. I paid, paid for it. I believe my average buy cost was about $8.80 a pair. So add about $2 a pair for shipping. I'm looking at about $10.80 a pair. So let's see how much profit I can make. Let me show you guys which pairs I picked up. I've got a little bin right here that I'm actually going to be putting all the shoes in after I show them to you. So let's get into it. The first pair is this, well, there's only one. Hopefully it didn't fall out because there were other shoes, but hopefully I'll find the other one. But this is a nice uh, suede and gold pair of Nike Cortezes. These ones were $9.99. Again, my average buy cost was um, a little lower than that per pair before shipping. Uh, some pairs I got cheap, some pairs I paid up for, but these were in like really good condition. Uh, so hopefully I can find the other pair for that Cortez. The next pair is this pair of Saucony or Saucony running shoes. Uh, again, really good condition, great colorway. One of the things that I like about this mod or this this brand is that it's kind of slept on a little bit. I would say it's really up there with like the Brooks running shoe, and a lot of people uh, pass up on Saucony or Saucony, however you want to say it. Um, and these were in excellent condition. These literally need no cleaning. I can just take pictures of them right now. And uh, these are the Soul Box model, I guess. That's what it says. Uh, but anyway. Great model, great pair, should be able to do pretty good on those. Got a classic pair of Nike shocks here. These ones uh, were $9.99, got these out of Savers, uh, but really nice condition. They have like a brown suede or a leather to them, and uh, they were in really good condition. Again, another pair that really doesn't need any cleaning or any work. I can just straight take photos and list them. So that's what I was kind of looking for, unless something was really profitable. I tried to pick up a lot of pairs that didn't need a lot of cleaning. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Some of these are kind of mixed up in here. All right, here's a nice pair of Allbirds Tree Runners. As much as I still am kind of frustrated with Allbirds for their lack of response from uh, wanting to communicate to me after the whole eBay Vero issue, uh, the tree, these are the Tree Runners, not the Wool Runners. And these sell for a little bit more than the wool runners. I can usually pull about 60 bucks, uh, maybe even a little bit more on a pair of tree runners. And they were in really good condition. Paid eight bucks for these. This was a really weird pair of Nike Air Max. They were a little dirty, uh, but when I looked them up, there was only like three listed and a couple sold. So I figured I'd take a chance on them. I believe the comps were like 70, $75, or something like that. And they were only $6.99 at, I believe, Savers. Uh, we don't have Savers here in Florida, so... Um, I'm pretty sure it was out of Savers, but they're like a reflective metallic color. I thought they were pretty cool. So that was a nice pickup. Here is a pair of uh, Salomon or Solomon. Um, everybody kind of pronounces them differently, but these uh, were really nice hiking shoes. This is another great brand that I think people kind of sleep on a little bit. Um, when you have like your Merrells and your North Faces, uh, the Salomon or Solomon, these are waterproof and they're in really good condition. They need a little bit of a scrub. Um, I'll take a toothbrush and kind of scrub this uh, fabric material a little bit, but these will clean up nice and I should probably be able to pull anywhere between 40 and 60 bucks. Next up, we have a pair of Nike uh, Air 270 Reacts, Air Max 270 Reacts. These are in really good condition. This was, um, I'll scrape that little thing off the bottom right there, but other than that, I'm probably not going to do much cleaning other than maybe try to get the scuffs off. But again, these were six bucks in Utah. That's crazy. If this was at Goodwill in my location, those would be like $24.99. So the prices were really good for shoes in Utah. So I'm really happy. These were $6.50. This is a pair of Ultras. 
Another great brand to be on the lookout for if you're not familiar with Ultra. There is the logo right there. And these are the Escalate, I believe, uh, Escalante. Um, these are almost like, in my opinion, it's like Ultra's version of the Nike Free Run Flyknit. The tongue is very lightweight and stretchy, and then you have kind of just like a lightweight flyknit material, and then the Ultra bottom right there always kind of looks like that. So these are in really good shape, no rips or tears. Again, I shouldn't need to clean those. It's five dollars for these uh, Adidas Ultra Boosts. These usually always sell for fifty dollars plus, sometimes upwards of a hundred. Uh, and yeah, Ultra Boosts are just great. It definitely was a great pickup for me. These I probably shouldn't have picked up based on the weight of how much it was going to cost me, but I don't know. I just can't say no to a good pair of Doc Martens. Uh, these were in really good shape. There was like no heel drag, which you usually see a lot of. Uh, these are pretty heavy though. These are like probably four pounds, maybe even more. Um, but Doc Martens are a great brand. It's always hard to say no when you can find them at a good price. Next up, we got a pair of Brooks, just as I was talking about these earlier. These were super clean Brooks Ghost 11. I believe they're on the Ghost 13 right now. So these aren't too far behind and they're just in great condition. Uh, so no work needed to be done, no rips or tears. Very clean with the original insoles. It's always a great sign. You always wanna check for the insoles. Here's another pair of Ultras I got. These are the Lone Peak 4s. Uh, these are more of like a like serious climbing, hiking uh, shoe. I guess because there's a lot of mountains in Utah, uh, there was a lot of hiking style shoes, Merrells, Ultras, um, but it was hard to find the ones with really good condition on the bottom. Uh, but these were clean, excellent condition, really nice. Oh, side, little side note here. I picked this up at one of the Deseret Industries. This is like a vintage Boy Scout water canteen. Um, and yeah, I don't know much about it, but I looked up some, there was a, I think I picked up two different water canteens. The Boy Scout one, this was behind the glass for three bucks. I decided to take a chance on it. I think they're like $15. It wasn't that great of a pickup, but the other one, if it's in here, uh, which it should be, unless Tim stole it, <laughs> which I know he did it, um, was selling for like 40 to 50 bucks. So I'll just continue on with the Ultras because I got a couple more pairs of them sitting right here. $5.99. Again, another, these are the uh, Ultra Superiors. You can kind of see like that foot thing on the bottom, but this like gray and purple colorway, I find this colorway a lot when I find Ultras. It's just like a really popular color model and uh, really good condition. So, and we got another pair right here. Again, I mean, look how clean these are. Another pair of Ultras. These are the Escalantes again, similar to the Nike Free Run Flyknits in my opinion, at least in the, the feel, but I don't know about the bottoms. I've never worn Ultras, uh, but they look comfortable and great colorway. Don't really need any cleaning, maybe a little magic eraser on the white side, that's it. All right, if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you watched any of the YouTube videos from our Utah trip, you saw this probably on Joey Bada Bing's video. Um, I found right at the end of, as I was about ready to check out, found two pairs of um, Chacos. Here's one and the other one is, is in here, buried in here somewhere, but I paid $3.99 for each of the pairs of Chacos that I got. And I mean, these are great. If you're not familiar with Chaco, you can see it right there on the side. Uh, but Chacos are a great model of sandal to sell. They're really popular worldwide and uh, easy, easy pickup for four bucks. This was a pair I definitely was unsure of, but um, I've seen uh, like Dalton, dealing with Dalton, sell these for pretty high amount. Um, he likes to draft them when we do the flea market drafts if we find them. And I haven't really sold a lot of Keen boots. Uh, I've sold a lot of Keen like water sandals and things like that, but I've never really sold the boots. These are the Primaloft 200 gram insulation boots, and they were in really good condition. This was at like a really small local thrift store that Tim said he really liked. And I paid up for these, I paid 15. I think what this was the second most expensive pair of shoes I bought on the trip. But you can see like the hard toe boxes right there. Uh, and they're in really good condition. Again, I can just list them. So. I decided to pick them up and uh, give them a chance. Good size, good color. Everything was there for me as far as like the signs to pick them up. Uh, speaking of Keen, we got another um, hiking shoe right here. These are Merrells, and these are the uh, these ones didn't have the like the regular tie laces. These are the Chameleon Two Stretch Kangaroo Boa, and as you can see, um, they don't have this the typical tongue. These are almost like slip-on Merrells. I've never seen that before. 
so I decided to pick these up and uh, there's the other one so I decided to pick these up give them a chance the chameleon model I've sold before but not this like slip-on boa model excellent condition no flaws these were 10 bucks at the desert industries so really nice pickup there these are a pair of like dirtier shoes I guess in in retrospect is probably dirtier than most of the pairs I picked up but they're still clean these are Nike free run uh, 4.0s I believe um, or just Nike free run I can't remember but I sell this model very consistently for 40 to 50 dollars they and this is a great colorway this like rose lavender color so I always pick up Nike free runs when I find them it's just a really good popular model super lightweight usually you can ship these in a padded flat rate envelope unless it's a larger men's size uh, or sometimes they'll even be on the verge depending on the women's size 15 to 16 ounces and you can get away with first class Next up is a pair of Hoka One Ones. I've never found this model in the wild before. This is the Speed Goat 4. I've never found the Speed Goats before, but it's, it is a popular model. And there's a little bit of like, I guess you call it road rash on the side. But for being Hoka's, having the original insoles and still good tread on them. I believe these are more hiking style Hoka's um, to still have this kind of good tread on them. For $6, this was an easy pickup for me. All right, next up is these Asics Gel Trinusas. Um, I don't normally pick these up a lot uh, because they're usually in pretty rough condition. The uh, wear was slightly worn on the bottom, but the colorway of the Trinusas do sell pretty quickly. I think around the $30 to $35 margin, um, depending on if they're like the Trinusa 9s or the 10s or whatever. Uh, but I know these colorways sell really good, so I decided to pick these up for six bucks. Right, this is something that I have not had extreme luck with, but I do sell them on occasion. I, I, I have a hard time finding them in Florida for a good price, but these are Allen Edmonds. Uh, Allen Edmonds is a major bolo for men's dress shoes. If you did not know, there are a lot of different models and makes, but you can tell by the inside right here on the side of the shoe, they'll give you the model number and you can look it up and type it in the 65130, I believe. And some of these Allen Edmonds that I picked up, I think I got three pairs in Utah, were selling for over $100 each. And so for $8 at the Desert Industries, this was a no brainer for me. And they're super, super clean. Here is another pair of Admin Allen, Ab, at Allen Edmonds. These are called the Bain Bridge model. I believe these ones were selling for over $100 as well. These were eight bucks at the, at the DI, as Tim calls it. Uh, these were a really good size, pretty big on the men's size right here. And uh, you could still see the name on the sole, which is really good. And there was still plenty of tread left. So Allen Edmonds, be on the lookout for those. Next up is a brand that I am actually not familiar with, but I've seen Dalton and both my mom, Mama Flipper, on Instagram uh, sell these before. It is Kuru. If you are not familiar, this is the logo right here. Um, I'm not sure where they came from or who makes them or anything like that, but these were in excellent condition. Great colorway for 10 bucks. Uh, Dalton said that they could sell for upwards of 60 to $65 if they're in really good condition. So I think I could probably pull about between 50 to 60 bucks on these pretty easily. So be on the lookout for Kuru. Here is another pair of Hoka's. These are the Arahis. I think I found these in the same store that we met up with the Hoogs, uh, and um, I found these kind of as I was talking to them. I like saw them out of the corner of my eye, so I walked over and grabbed them, uh, I think. so. Um, but the Hoka's, the great condition still, in my opinion. They're missing the insoles, but I have still sold Hoka's. It's one of the only models of shoes I pick up without insoles, because people change them all the time on these Hoka's to put like... Um, medical insoles or you know more comfort insoles in them for walking all right i gotta find another matching pair here here's the other pair of chacos i got at savers for three dollars and 99 cents again decent condition overall no rips on the straps uh like desert colorway almost like like rattlesnake brown and black i don't know pretty cool but you're not gonna say no to chacos for four dollars i know that all right, we got a pair of New Balance. These are the 860s. I literally sold a pair of these while I was in Utah, this exact same pair, and my wife shipped them out. I sold this exact same pair while I was in Utah for $40 plus shipping. So I decided to pick these up for $7. They're a little bit more on the worn side than 
a lot of the other shoes, but for forty for forty dollars, I, I think I can still you know triple quadruple my money. Another great brand to be on the lookout for if you're not familiar, which most people are with shoes, is Danskos. And just these triple black ones, your typical nurse clogs or you know uh, medical people love to wear these. Six bucks at the DI, no damage on the toe boxes at all, no scuffs. Uh, and no breaking apart of the shoe. One thing you can do is the bend test like this, and you can see if the shoe is like dry rotted or will break apart, and these ones are not. There's like not even any creasing, so this was a great pickup. Here's another great uh, Bolo, if you're not familiar, but you have to look them up. There are a lot that don't sell for a lot. These are the Nike Metcon 3s. Uh, but some Metcon, not all Metcons are created equal. Metcons are a great like CrossFit shoe. Um, you can kind of see on the bottom there. These are like a black and gold colorway. And the colorway, I believe, is one of the reasons that made this one so valuable. Somewhere in the upwards of $60 to $100. I'll post a screenshot up on this one because I don't exactly remember. So I don't want to mislead you. But some models of Metcons can sell for a lot of money. So make sure you're looking them up. I paid 8 bucks for those. Next, we got another super clean pair of Brooks Ghost running shoes. These almost look like they've never been worn. I mean, if they, if if I had to pick a pair of cleanest shoes I got uh, in Utah, I would have to say this would be in the top three. Brooks Ghost 12s. These are a $50 shoe all day in my eBay store um, or in my Poshmark closet, especially considering the tread. I might even ask for more than that. I might even list them for like 69 bucks just because I would consider them maybe worn two or three times. I'm not going to list them as new, but I will list them as extremely clean. All right, next up, we got a pair of Cole Haan Zero Grands. I don't pick up a lot of, or Cole Haan Grand OS 2.0s. I don't pick up a lot of Cole Haan anymore um, because they haven't been moving as much, but these ones had good comps around the $55 range, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, they were in pretty good shape. So for 10 bucks, I decided to pick these ones up. But there is the graphic on the back for Cole Honda OS Grand. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did get this um, Starbucks tumbler. I had to clean it off. It was like a dollar twenty nine, and uh, the comps were selling for about eighteen to twenty bucks. I was just trying to switch it up in my videos and find something different than shoes. So I picked up that tumbler, probably a twenty dollar sale. And then here is the other canteen. I believe it's a World War II canteen. Um, and when I did oh, one of the World Wars or something like that, when I did some research, there was an insignia on the can when you take off the cover. And so I'm pretty excited. There's a little leather strap. I believe this like goes on your belt and then like little snaps right here. And there was um, some other markings on the tin can as well. So when I looked this one up, I think they were selling for like between 30 and 50 bucks. So that one was definitely worth picking up for me. Here is probably one of the best shoes that I found. Um, they do need a little bit of work, I guess. Um, but these are Kobe 2s or Kobe 3s, I believe. I'll post screenshots up on the screen for you guys for these ones. But these are um, one of the only models of shoe that I believe Kobe did with Adidas. Uh, I'm not a hype beast or a shoe expert by any means, but from the little research that I did... Uh, when I found these, I don't believe Kobe did a lot with Adidas. Um, and so this was one of their like promo or sample type of deals, but it was one that they ended up actually putting out. And uh, you they, they don't have like the Mamba logo on them, like the typical Nike Kobe's. Uh, but these were selling in the upwards of, I believe, 100 to $200. I paid up for these, I paid 20 bucks for them. Uh, but this was a really solid find. And I'm really happy to have these, so hopefully these ones will make me some of the most money. All right, we got a little pair of leather vans here. I paid four dollars for these. I've never seen it like these. This is these are women's. Um, I think like a women's size four or five. Women's five, and so um, but for vans they were in good shape. Four bucks leather. That that should sell pretty quickly. Um, I like selling vans. I think they're usually easy pickups, and it's another sleeper brand that you can sell for a lot of money. All right, next up we got another pair of Keens. I don't know if I should have picked these ones up or not. Um, there were nothing super special about them, but they were in good shape and they were cheap. These were a size six, so a women's size, 
which is a pretty decent size. Anything lower than that, I probably would have left them. Uh, but my wife wears a size six, so if we ever wanted to go hiking, if I couldn't sell them, I can give them to her and she can use them. Uh, but great little pair of like uh, waterproof, keen, dry hiking shoes. I'll take those for, for that price. Next up, we got another pair of Hoka's. These are the Challenger ATR 5s. And there is some wear on the bottom, but if you guys have been following me for a long time, again, Hoka's are the one of the only models that I will pick up with worn bottoms and no insoles, and I can still sell them for good money. I recently picked up or sold a pair of Hoka Clifton 6s with worse condition bottoms than these for $60. Uh, and so they were like completely trashed on the bottom. I found them at the bins. It was like 50 cents. So I had like nothing to lose and I just listed them high and one day I woke up to a full price sale. But these are the Challenger ATR 5s for being more like along the hiking style of the Hoka line. These are in really good shape. No rips or tears, no scuffs on the toe boxes or anything like that, which you typically see from hikers. So, and they're a bigger size, so I should be able to sell those pretty quickly. We got just a basic pair of Converse. I don't pick up a lot of Converse, um, but the black ones, the low tops right here, Converse All-Stars, this will be a pretty quick sale. They were eight bucks. Should be able to turn it into like $39.99 pretty quickly. We got another pair of Nike Free Runs right here. These, I believe, are the Free Run Fly Nets, yes. So these ones were $6.99 at uh, Savers. And Free Run Fly Nets, one of my favorite models to sell. It's all probably one of my best selling models too. I usually can't keep these for longer than a week in almost any colorway. The Free Run Fly Nets are one of my favorite pairs to wear and uh, they just sell super quick. It's probably a 40 to $50 sale all day. This was a pair of shoes that I'm actually not too familiar with. If I can find the other one in here, unless it fell out, which I hope it didn't. I honestly don't see it in here though, but this is a pair of uh, Nike Zoom Wild Horse 3s. I've sold this pair or this model before. Um, I gotta look in here and see if the other one's in here because I, I legit don't see it. Um, so that's not good. Uh, quick shout out to Titleist, FootJoy Titleist hat right here. I think I paid $2 for this. Should be an easy $25 sale. Was just trying to pick up a couple of other things. And I got this handheld Yahtzee game, I believe for a dollar. Uh, and this should sell for about 20 bucks. So we'll skip the wild horse and then we'll come to Joey's favorite shoe, the Skechers Shape Ups. I actually like selling Shape Ups when you uh, can find them in good condition. Now this is what I call brand new baby. These were literally new. Okay, I paid $5 for these at the same thrift store that I got those Kobe's from, and they are literally new. Now, they're a very small size. I believe they're like a five. Yeah, a women's five. So they may take a while to sell, but they're a different type of shape up. They're like a gel model, and uh, these are selling in like, I believe the 60 to $70 range, uh, and these are literally have the sticker on the bottom still, so I'm gonna list these as new without tags, and I should be able to do pretty good on these. There's the other Cortez all the way at the bottom, uh, but good condition overall, little scuff mark on the back there, but I still should be able to pull some good money on those. This was a pair I was pretty excited about. I shared in my YouTube video when I was at the DI, it was one of the first pairs of women's shoes I found. I paid $5 for these Fry Women's Ballet Flats. I should be able to pull about 40 to 45 bucks out of these. Uh, first time finding Fry in the wild, uh, and they're right there. It's probably not gonna focus, but right there on the back, F-R-Y-E. Uh, their boots are a major bolo. If you can find fry boots in the wild, definitely pick them up. Uh, here is another pair of Hoka's. I actually had not found Hoka's almost the whole day. And then like the last four stops that we went to on the, the, the second day we were there, I found like one pair at each store and they were all different models, which is kind of cool. I paid $7 for these. They are the Hoka Hupanas, H-U-P-A-N-A. -A. And uh, they still had some decent tread on them. I don't think I've ever sold this model, so I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot. Probably like 35, 40 bucks on these. Uh, but for $7, I mean, I'm definitely not gonna say no to Hoka's. Here is another pair of Allen Edmonds. These are the Madison Avenue. And if I'm not mistaken, these were the second most expensive pair. Uh, these are the Kobe's, or compared to the Kobe's. These were selling for like 160 bucks. So make sure you're on the lookout for Allen Edmonds, certain men's dress shoes can sell for a lot, especially the Allen Edmonds brand. So a great model. 
I definitely don't see this Nike Wild Horse in here, so I got to message Tim. Uh, but hopefully I didn't lose it. I did find another pair of Allbirds. These are the Wool Runners. Um, actually, they're not the Wool Runners. I believe these are also... Uh, maybe they're Wool Runners. I don't remember. These are... Uh, they don't say. These are not wool runners because they don't have that like soft wool material. I don't think these are tree runners though. They might be. Um, I have to go back and look actually. I think these are tree runners. Uh, but I paid six bucks for these or five dollars for these at the DI. And uh, those, if they are the tree runner model, uh, they should pull another 50 bucks. Uh, these are one of the dirtier pairs. But again, the Nike free run, these are Nike free run fly knits. Uh, super lightweight, first class, will easily sell for probably between 30 and 50 bucks depending on how clean I can get them. And as you can see from most of the shoes I got, I don't need to do a lot of cleaning. So I was okay picking these up and I think I paid $7 for these. So great pickup there. Two pairs left guys. Thanks for hanging with me. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I guess if you saw something in this video that you're interested in because you need a pair of shoes, hit me up and I'll give you a deal. Um, I found these dance goes right here. I've never sold the dance go model like this. They're almost like um, Like flats, but they have a little bit of a wedge on them or a heel I don't know what you would call these they were six bucks at the DI and uh, they're kind of like the fry ballet flats But they had that you know extra heel on them So I decided to pick them up because they were clean and dance go is a really good brand and speaking of dance go The last pair that I got was dance go. Uh, there's like a zip tie on these so I can't put them together, but these are like a, a he, another heeled dance go shoe right here, all black with the, the little strap on it. Good condition. I think the price on these was $5 as well. I was going to pass on these. They were at the same thrift store. I got the shape ups and the Kobe's and the guy wanted 10 for them. And I said, I'll pass. There's a few scuff marks on the top, but nothing bad, but I just didn't want to pay 10 bucks for the dance goes. And uh, he said, how about $5? So I decided to take them for five. And yeah, so overall, really nice haul. I am super happy with everything I found in Utah. Again, Tim and Zach, thanks for having me. And Joey, it was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys watching. If you learned any new models of shoes, let me know in the comment section if it was a model or a brand that you've never heard of. I'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, and let me know how thrifting is in your area. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace, money!